Um, uh, okay, time is over. So you see, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Hey everyone, this is Otakos, and today I'm bringing you my playthrough of Proving Grounds. Um, this is part of the Solo Hero series um, by Renegade Game Studios. Uh, the other two games in that series so far are Warp's Edge, as you know, one of my most favorite solo games, and also Reckland Run, a game I haven't played as often yet, but um, I will also bring that to you in the future, because Proving Grounds was um, the game requested by my patrons and by you as the community for August, to be honest. But life has been so crazy the last few months, like really crazy, that I haven't gotten around to actually recording and editing that. But now I'm recording, uploading, editing it really quickly so that you can finally watch the video for this game. And then also um, the requested game for September was Vector and Run. So that is the next thing that I will upload. Um, also, there should already be a poll up for my October game, and I will try to get all three games out, like recorded and edited and uploaded this month in October. I hope so. And then I'm back up to speed again, because that's what I owe you, right? And I just haven't come around to doing that, but um, I'm doing that now. So Proving Grounds, what is that? That is actually a real-time solo game, something that you don't see all too often. Um, so... I think what I will do is I will just uh, quickly set up the game as usual and then I will show you how to play it. All right, and that is the setup of the game. So as you can see, um, there's not a whole lot, right? Just a few cards, a board, um, a few tokens, and then the dice here. So what are we actually doing? Well. Um, we are trying to prove our worth. We are uh, Maya Strongheart, um, the lady you can see here. Um, and we have to survive the Proving Grounds by defeating eight enemy combatants in the arena before our health here is reduced to zero. And that is way harder um, than you may think. So um, if we defeat eight enemies and we're still alive um, at the end of that round, then we win and we lose if we just don't have any health anymore, right? Like where that little skull is, I don't know if you can see it. Might be a little bit small, but you should be able to see it. And um, the cards reflect a little bit, but I think it should be okay. I think you should see uh, well enough. So um, the story actually reads, my strong heart stands alone against the world. A cabal of conspirators has framed her for the death of her own mother, the Sun Queen, and these traitors intend to usurp the throne from her family. To prove her own innocence and reclaim her birthright, Maya must step into the proving grounds to complete a trial that will stretch her combat skills to the limit. Will the wizard chosen's daughter vanquish her foes in the arena, or will she be overwhelmed by the conspirators and their evil aspirations? So that's, um, that's the story of the game. And how the game actually plays is quite simple as well, at least in theory. Um, practically, I'm quite bad at the game, right? <laughs> Just a little warning for you. Um, so we are playing the base game today. There actually um, is more stuff in here. Um, there are like more modules they can put on here. Um, you have more cards, you have these dragons here and another die and stuff. So um, there is more stuff in here if you own the game and you enjoy it. Um, enough then you can actually also play with these modules i have also tried um some of them and uh, yet they actually do change the game enough like make the game more interesting for sure first let me kind of show you around here so we have our game board here here are the combatants that we have to try to defeat um if we defeat one of them then a new one will uh, will appear so we always have six combatants here we need to defeat eight over here are dice, like that's the exhaustion track, I think it's called. Um, the dice actually go down here, and when they leave the board, then we can put it into our pool. So dice are quite important here. This is our health track. It goes around in a, in a snake uh, snake kind of pattern. And whenever we reach that space with uh, these dice here, we can take one of these dice and replace one of them with a white one in our pool, right? We don't like get it additionally, but we can replace one. And um, then we move the stack down here. When the health moves down here, we get another die. We don't get the third die because when we move over here, we lose. That's pretty much what you see here. I put the round sequence uh, reminder here, like the little player aid. I don't really need it, but um, I just want to put it here so you know there is one, so you can actually like put it. But you see, um, put it on the table. But you see, there isn't a whole lot of space required on the table. It's actually not too bad. All right, so 
How the game now works is, um, it works in three different phases. The first one is the rolling dice phase, like the roll dice phase. Um, for that, we need a 60 second timer because I told you this is a real time game. Um, there is the Renegade Game Studios app and there is also Proving Grounds in here. When we select that, then we can actually, I'm doing the training game. This is the one I'm showing you without the modules. Then I go there, um, it tells us the setup, that is fine. And then, oh, not ready. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Wait, wait. Let me pause that. And then um, we have a timer here with like a little bit of background music. Uh, I will maybe turn on the music for the first round, but then I will, then I might actually leave, leave it because um, it is a little bit, um, for me, it's a little bit distracting, to be honest, like in this video at least here, right? Um, but because I want to also talk a little bit while I play, right? But in the first round, I will do that. What we do, um, we roll our dice and we are trying to... Um, like meet these expectations, um, like these conditions, right above the markers on the combatants. So for example, we need two plus dice to go up there, right? To move that marker up there. We need three or more dice there. We need two or more dice there. And these um, three or two more dice means sets, like sets of equal die values, right? So if we have three fives, we can actually use that to move that marker up there. So um, here you see like these colors, that means that one of the dice needs to be green or yellow. Three plus, two plus, three plus, same thing like everywhere, pretty much. These two also have, um, these two also have abilities. This one says blue dice count as two dice each against its enemy. So one blue die is enough here. And here we have blue and green dice count as two dice each against this enemy, right? So like blue and greens would also be good here. If we exceed that, that's also fine. But to get to the next stage, then we can also like pull that up two ice, but then we would need six different dice, right? So that is um, how that kind of kind of works here. Also, of course, like three fives was, was, was not right because you see like these die values here, right? So we need three ones for that one. We need three two, uh, two twos for that one and so on, right? We see the dice, dice value, die values here. Um, all right. But what happens if we don't have a set? What happens if we have like a single one, for example, um, and no other ones? Well, if we have a single, then we move down the mark. And if it actually moves on one of these red spaces, then we are hit. And we can only be hit four times before we lose, right? So um, that's one thing that's very important. No singles, leave no singles here, especially in the first round, because we will actually score a hit. I uh, like not score a hit, but receive a hit. We don't want that. All right. So let's start playing. Um, I will also increase the the volume. You should be able to hear that now. So you have like this kind of arena gladiator kind of sound, right? I will only do that like in the first round, I think, because otherwise when I speak, it gets kind of distracting. All right. So now we roll our dice. Uh, so we have two ones. We only, that's fine. That will already be enough. Um, but we can only, one thing I didn't tell you, we can re-roll dice as often as you want to, but we cannot, we can only roll sets. I cannot roll a single die, right? That's very important to know. So, okay, like this. Uh, two, two, four, 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 actually three fours is okay two twos it's also okay you know what we are actually quite lucky with our first roll i will just leave it like this so now this would like keep counting down but i'm already stopping so i'm just gonna end the round so and what we do now is now we uh, tell the app how many enemies we defeated well not too many so now we allocate all the dice that is now now we resolve the attacks that's step two come on be quiet um, so, um, so we have three ones. I always like put them in here. So I, um, so I can now resolve all of the attacks I can order. So three ones, we need three to get up there. Green actually, um, count as two dice. So we also have four, but still we have three. So that goes up. So that's fine. Then two twos. That's also enough. One of them needs to be a yellow one or a green one. We do have that. So that one goes up. Then here, three fours. Um, we need two, but we have three. So that's fine. We don't have enough for the next one, right? We needed five for that, but that is just fine. So, and that, um, now we allocated all the dice. Um, if we don't 
allocate any die to any of these, that's fine. Just not a single one. That's not enough, right? The enemies defeated, zero. And then we would go to the next round. Let me just pause that because we still have one phase. And the third phase is the recover phase. And the recover phase is pretty simple. First, you take all your dice back. I already did that. Then on the exhaustion track, like all dice move down one space. So like this, right? And this one um, is um, put into our pool. So now we have more dice to actually work with. So now you may be asking, okay, but what if all these move down? What then? Well, we actually add dice there whenever we suffer a wound, right? So we not only move down our health marker, but we also have to put like one die at the top spot of the exhaustion track, right? We only get that back like three rounds later, which is kind of bad. Um, and then that is pretty much it. What we would also do is replace like all empty slots here, but we don't have any. All right, and that's how the game works. So now into the next round, one minute to um, actually reroll dice. So I don't want a like four, three, five, and six. I don't want singles. Everything else is fine for now because if I have a single one, for example, it would move down, but we wouldn't get hurt at least, right? So let's start. And now roll without the music now. I think it's a little bit distracting, but let me know in the comments. Oh, we already have three ones. I already put those there. That is good because we need three and then five, which is a lot. So three, four. Oh, we have so many singles. And we can't reroll any of these, right? That is pretty bad. So let me reroll the two sixes because that is, uh, it would be enough, but mm, let me reroll these two and see what happens. Six, so I can't reroll that, but I have the two twos. Ah, oh, that would be enough to defeat him. Uh, six, oh no, but we will get hurt. Ah, let me reroll these. Let me reroll the ones. Uh, another two, okay, three, three. Let me reroll these two. Oh no. I'm already almost out of time and I am gonna be dying, I think. Like, uh, getting hurt a lot. Oh, I'm so unlucky here. Come on, come on. Oh no. Uh, uh, okay, that's it. Okay, you see, that's it. The timer is gone, it's done. Oh no, that's pretty bad. We will suffer, we will suffer damage for sure. I told you, I'm really bad at this game. It could happen that we're done in two rounds. <laughs> you have seen how the game plays, but I have not won. This is a very tough game for me because I'm not good at this real-time stuff. All right, so let me put all the dice where they belong. Two fives, two sixes, and a four. Okay, well, it's not as bad as I thought, I think. So, one, one, that's only a single, right? So we will actually suffer damage and not some damage but it will move down but no damage that's fine three twos we need two so we can actually put that up there one of them needs to be green or yellow we have both that's fine this one is actually defeated so we have our first enemy defeated right i will just put the stack over here and i will put that to a one over here right um so th that is good then uh so that's those three nothing four only a single so that one will go down as well but no damage, luckily. Then we have the two fives. Um, it's it's not enough to pu push up that track, but it's also not a single, so we don't suffer damage. And two sixes, that's enough to push that up there. So we actually didn't receive any damage. That is fine. Oof, that was pretty lucky. All right, um, so now we have our dice here. We got them all back. We move these down, get one more, and then we will also reveal a new card. This one is the Queen's Bodyguard. Green dice count as two dice again. Like blue count twice, green count twice here, yellow count twice here, and they're blue and green. Okay, now we don't, we can't have any singles except for six. All right, next round. Okay, come on. So let's see what we have. Oh, we have a lot of singles. Two, two ones, that is not enough. So I'll reroll these for sure. Oh, I'm too slow, two sixes. Um, it's also not enough, but, oh, I have three sixes, that's fine. Two, one, three, four, five, two fours. Is that enough, is that enough, is that enough? Uh, it, is, it would be enough, yes. Um, two fives would not be enough. Then let me reroll all of these three. I cannot reroll, it's a single. Okay, two ones is not enough. So I reroll these as well. Four or five, now I have only singles. That is horrible, that is horrible, okay. Let me take, uh, let me take these here and we roll these. Oh, plus that six, sorry. Uh, two ones, that's not good either. One six is not good. Oh no, I'm 
I'm having issues. I'm having issues. Let me just reroll everything and just hope for something good. A lot of fives. Okay, wow, that's way too many fives. Um, uh, okay, time's over. So you see, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. I have way too many fours. Oh, one more four would be great. Then I could actually move up twice, but I don't have that. Um, okay, four fives. This game is stressful. Um, two and six. Okay, that's all we have. So we still have all one defeated enemy. So let's start again. One, nothing. Two, we only have one die. So this one moves down. We actually receive a wound. And also we need to put one of our dice on the exhaustion tracker here. That is pretty bad. So we actually have one die less, but we gain another one. So that is okay, I suppose. Then uh, three, nothing. Four, we have four, two here, but for the three, we don't have enough, but okay. Then fives, we have more than three. That's fine. And six, we only have one. So we move down again. Okay. So we did not defeat any new ones. So this one goes back up here to the start space. Um, we receive that die, that one moves down, and I think that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm not doing too well, right? I already lost like one of six health, and um, or five health, um, and we only have one, one defeated enemy so far. So that is not good. All right, next round. Let's go. All right, we have a lot of sixes. Yeah, I want a few sixes. Um, six, 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 that, we would need one more six, that would be pretty nice. Um, three twos, what about those? Are these good? Yeah, three twos would be good, but we cannot reroll any of these. So we need to reroll something else. Let me reroll these here. Three ones, and another six, that's good. Oh, that's actually a pretty good roll now. We just have a three and a four. Um, the four would not hurt us, hurt us, but the three would. But I think I'm going to take that. You know what? I'm going to end the round. Because I think that is pretty decent. So three ones up there. That is fine. One three. That's not good. That's going to hurt us. So we receive one wound and we need to put a die on the exhaustion track. Four would also go down here, but we don't get hurt. And here we have... Uh, three plus dice, one of them is blue, and two plus dice, one of them is yellow. So we actually defeated the Moon Queen representative. Um, so that is another defeated enemy right here. Um, let's put that up to a two. And then these move down. This one is replaced, the Sun Queen representative. Um, and there are no special abilities here. Okay, there's a lot to keep track of in this game. Not a lot to keep track of, but it's kind of hard to keep track of everything, in my opinion, because um, it is just so um, it's just so hectic, right? So that um, is definitely an issue. Okay, um, I think we are ready for the next round. I put this down, right? I hope I did. I can't quite remember, but I think I did. Okay, next round. So let's just see what we can do here. Uh, we have three twos. Is that good? That would be not too bad. But we don't need all of the twos, to be honest. We have two fours, um, which would be okay. But these are all singles, which is bad. So you know what? Let's reroll all the twos. Let's do that. Two ones, which is not enough. So oh, I will, we will have to reroll those. Two threes is not enough. Two fives is not enough. So I reroll. I'm going to reroll all of these doubles here. Okay. We have a lot of sixes. But that would be okay. That would be not too bad. Two and three. I don't like these too much. One, three, one, two. We would get hurt quite a lot. You know what? Let me reroll these as well. These sixes I will keep for now. Um, and then we have two fives, which is not enough. Let me reroll these. Uh, one, three. Oh no, the time's oh no, the time's up, and I have four singles. That could actually spell our death. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Oops, that was a one. All right, I think I already lost. I told you this is like one of the games I'm worst at. Oh, another. Six. I don't need that many sixes. Look at this, and a three. Okay. Oh no, that is gonna hurt us quite bad. One, one single one. Gonna move down. One single three. 
move down, one single four, move down. So um, I can, I don't know what happens if there are too many, but I will just put them like this for now. Um, and then, yeah, as far as I know, you have to stack them like when they're at the top space. So, um, and then uh, we receive two wounds. So one wound right here. So we can take one of these dice. Uh, the best dice for me are green ones at the moment, but I can replace, uh, uh, wait, I, I will do that a little bit later. I will do that in just a moment because I have to resolve this still. Um, so we have two plus dice and we have three plus dice. Okay, that's fine. So, and now I will take the green die and um, in replace that um, white die with that. And then we saw another wound and then I will take a blue die and take out a white one for that. So we don't actually need that as well because we can't get that anymore. So one more wound and we are dead. So yeah, we are pretty much dead. So I will get this one here and these go back up. All right, and we can start the next round. Yeah, I think I'm already feared pretty much. Um, so next round, let's see. Uh, two ones, that would be enough. Um, a two, two twos, that would be enough. A single three would kill us. A single five would kill us as well. Two fours would be enough, but let's just reroll these two. Um, one and two, that is bad. Um, and, and which one is more important? I don't know. Actually, this one, I think. So let's reroll all the ones here. Oh no, that's pretty bad. That's bad, that's bad. These are all singles, right? No, the five is not. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. We can't have one single because otherwise we will die, right? So, oh, come on, come on. Then let me, uh, that is not enough, but let me reroll these two. A three, come on, just a three. I just want a three. Oh no, that's not gonna, that's gonna, not gonna work. Uh, three, three, four, let me reroll those as well. Four, 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 okay. I still have two singles. Uh, one, four, oh, okay, I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Let me see. But maybe we can take an enemy down with us. Ah, uh, this game is stressful. And it's kind of, it's kind of tough because yes, you can reroll, but you can also only reroll sets, right? And not singles. And that is what's so tough because yeah, it's, it's really tough in my opinion. All right, two ones, that is enough because the blues count as two, two dice. That is fine. Um, we have three, but these count as two each. Two, four, six, that would be enough, right? Um, but I actually don't know. I think you, I have to take like one set of dice. That would be four. And then the other one with two wouldn't work. So I think I can't just like count all of them up. I think because the issue is that each of these spaces requires separate dice, right? And that's not the case here. So that's fine. Then two fours, that's also enough to move up. And then one five is not enough. It moves down and we receive our last wound. And well, and that defeats us, right? Um, that's how easily and quickly you lose. It is a pretty tough game, right? Um, so um, we we could have just like, like had, had we survived, we would have just played more and more rounds and we would have won if we had like eight, um, eight, uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, defeated eight um, combatants by the end of the game before we, before we lose health. But that didn't happen, right? So um, yeah, we definitely did not make it. And that is how you play Proving Grounds. Uh, let me just find it right here. So um, there are like a few things I want to say about this. This is not a full-fledged review, right? Just giving you my thoughts about the game. Um, so you can like kind of decide after the uh, playthrough, maybe that's already enough for you to know whether or not this would be a game you would enjoy um, because that's what my channel is about, right? Showing you a lot of like games that... Um, are either interesting or that I enjoy a lot, or maybe both even in the best cases. Um, and then you can decide whether or not um, there was, this would be something for you and you might find your new most favorite game. So I would just um, have a few unscripted thoughts about Proving Ground. So um, the the design is pretty well done. Solo, real-time games, there aren't a lot I know. Like the only games that I know solo that have like a timer are like games where you put a timer to 10 or 15 minutes and then you play, um, you play through that game, right? Um, there are games that do that. 
Um, but something like this, that you actually have like only like one minute to do something, I only know that for multiplayer games. So that is actually something new, at least for me. If you know any other games that do that, let me know. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure I will get those because I'm not very good at real time stuff, especially like competitive or solo, right? I'm just not very good at it. Um, and I think in this game, it's really tough. Um, so the theme of the game is pretty cool. Um, I like the components a lot, right? These dice are really cool, like with these different colors and markings here. And these are actually also slightly etched in, not just painted on. Um, like these little wooden markers here are pretty cool. The cards have, I think, a pretty decent quality, but I sleeved them anyway. Um, so yeah, and also the board, and it has like a lot of modules, which like really, really increases um, replay value, which is really cool. So there is a lot, this game has a lot going for it. And also, I did not read that at the beginning, although I like story in games, but um, there is like a huge story here that you can actually read through before you start the game. It's a lot. I would have like uh, sat here reading for like 20, 30 minutes, right? Well, I don't know how long, but, um, but you can actually read that entire story. Here's like an entire story in here that you can read. Um, so pretty cool. It's cool that the game also has some lore and stuff. So yeah, the rulebook is written well. Um, the rules are really simple. It's really easy to get into the game. So this game has a lot of good stuff going for it. And um, also with the app, that's pretty cool, right? You can like have that sound there if you want to. Also defeat, by the way. Um, save score, sure. <laughs> Why not? Uh, whatever. There are a lot of good things going for the game. Um, do I, would I recommend it? De it depends. Um, if you like real-time games, um, if you like um, games that are very unique, which this definitely is, and you enjoyed the gameplay, although I lost really badly. <laughs> but um, yeah, if that is something that um, piques your interest, um, I think that's something that I could recommend them. I personally don't enjoy the game as much as I hoped to, because as I said, I'm not a huge fan of real-time games. And like, Real-time games I only like pretty much if they're like cooperative, right? That is pretty cool because you work together. That's something that I enjoy more um, in a in a real-time context, but like solo or competitive, I don't enjoy that too much. I'm not very good at it, but that's not the main reason. There are also other games I'm not good at and I like playing, I still like playing. Um, but this one, somehow this flow doesn't really suit like the way I like to play games, right? Um, so I can appreciate the design. I think it's well-designed. I personally just don't like it. And that probably doesn't tell you a whole lot because we all have different tastes. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean that you wouldn't like it, right? Um, except if you have watched a lot of my videos and you think that our tastes align, I mean, that's possible, right? Then this might also not be for you. But this is a, this is a well-designed game. It works well. It is very unique. And I mean, you saw the gameplay if you enjoy that. Might be something for you to pick up. I own the game due to two reasons at the moment. First one is I wanted to bring you a video. I have not done that. Um, and the second reason is it is part of that Solo Hero series. And it is just cool to have like all these three games like right side by side in your shelf. It just looks really cool, you know? I like, I like having like these series of games. Um, but I'm not 100% sure if I will still keep Proving Grounds because I hardly play it anymore because as I said, as I told you, uh, I'm not the biggest fan. It's just, it's not my kind of game. So I'm not quite sure. I still have it here, but um, it is very possible that I will get rid of it in the future at some point. At the moment, it looks nice and on the shelf, but I don't really have a collection for collection six. I actually want to play the games I have. Um, first of all, I don't have the room to have like games just for looking at them. And also I think games are made to be played. And if I own a game that I don't play ever, really, then it's not like it doesn't have the correct spot in my collection. Then it should find a spot in someone someone else's collection who will actually enjoy playing the game. All right, there was a lot of rambling, but I hope you got a little feeling of how you enjoyed the game. And um, also, again, sorry for bringing you the video this late. Um, so the next one will be Ragnarok Run in my Patreon community series. So um, that will follow quite soon, um, this month for sure. Um, so I hope you will be looking forward to that. All right, so let me just have a little drink before doing the outro. All right, there we go. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video, although <laughs> I did not do all too well, but I mean, I guess that's the way it is, right? I wanna thank all of you for your support, especially my patrons. 
who support me on Patreon. The biggest shout out goes to Thagano, who is the biggest supporter at the highest tier. Thank you so much for that. I'm happy for any kind of support, including supporting me on Patreon, liking this video, commenting under this video, subscribing, all of that helps my channel grow, makes me very happy, and also able to bring you more quality content in the future. You can also join my Discord server in case you would like to hang out with me in my really amazing community. Seriously. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the very next video or on my Discord server. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.